Good evening or afternoon, everybody. It is Meteorology Age Web Forecast, and welcome back to the video. I hope you guys are all enjoying your wonderful uh, Tuesday afternoon. Uh, tomorrow's Halloween Eve, so I'm just getting uh, closer and closer and closer to these uh, to the Halloween snowstorm. Again, we still have the major snowstorm right now, but the big, big, big super one is the Halloween one, of course. But we have these two major snowstorms we're gonna be talking about. Um, the GFS radar like, just reloaded. Like I had to wait a couple more minutes for it to reload. So you have brand new information, brand new advisories, brand new radar, and brand new snowfall totals. So we're definitely gonna have to watch out with these new updates, and I'm gonna be looking at them for the first time with you guys too. If you guys are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, guys. It really means a lot when you check out my channel. I do post daily weather content, so if you really want to have daily weather, uh, new information, all the new updates, then this would be the great channel for you. Also, if you really enjoyed the video, be sure to hit the like button. If you have any questions or concerns, leave them in the comments below, and I'll answer them. With that for you, let's get in this video. As you can tell, we do have a lot more advisors and warnings based on this winter storm here that could possibly or i believe this is winter storm bessie i believe this has been named but uh, i don't want to say something that is not true but yeah this is most likely what the new storm is winter storm bessie so it's honestly really a big deal with this one we're gonna have a lot of snowstorm or sorry snow with this we're gonna have widespread snow and it's gonna be very very um very heavy snow at times so we're definitely gonna have to watch out yes this yeah this is winter storm bessie now so yes it is okay yeah it is confirmed this is winter storm bessie i was checking right now but as you can tell we do have new updates uh with the advisories we have a lot more advisories with winter storm bessie all the way from utah to illinois so as you can tell we have many more areas we have areas in central utah with winter storm advisories we have some from cheyenne all the way from lubbock texas through uh just west or just west of Oklahoma City, through Kansas City, through Dodge City, through areas all the way near Aurora, Illinois. So it's very, very widespread. We have many areas that are just getting to their first winter storm advisories, including Oklahoma, including Missouri, including Iowa, including Illinois. We'll all be seeing their first winter storm advisories of the year, I believe. And then we have these winter storm warnings now still in effect for areas near Colorado Springs and Denver. And they will soon to come in right here. And we'll definitely have a lot more updates tomorrow and then for Thursday. So these are the new active alerts. And then we also have freeze watches coming down for areas for Oklahoma City, Dallas, and uh, areas of Central Texas. And then we also have those again, those red flag warnings out there for the areas in the west as we do have those threats for wildfires. So now we're going to be looking at the European model and then we're going to be looking at the GFS as we're just going to wait a little bit more for this model to reload and refresh. Because as soon as I pulled up the new page, it was at six hours. I'm like, oh, are you kidding me? I got to wait like forever. But it actually didn't take that long. So let me actually get this. I really don't want to spoil it for you guys. But so in the next, uh, a couple hours. so this is by very early tomorrow morning we do actually let me actually redo this we all right so again this will bring we have the snow right here in two areas of utah colorado denver and nebraska and this will bring in very heavy snow again this is uh later today by tomorrow this snow does get into areas uh, all near dodge city bringing some snow near lubbock and a uh, really rainy mix there near armorello we'll have that snow continue to affect many areas near denver and central colorado that will affect again this is um october 30th we do have now this big system that is uh tomorrow so yeah tomorrow we'll see the big major this is now the Halloween snowstorm, which is winter storm Bessie now. So yeah, it's weird to think that's within 24 hours of bringing in a, a huge amount of snow. That it's, this can actually bring in more snow to the more to the south of Texas. So these snowfall totals are, or this snow is really going more now into Texas instead it was like this. But now we're gonna have snow for Lubbock, Armarillo, Denver, almost all of Kansas, uh, most of near uh, Lincoln, Nebraska, near Dodge City, Wichita. And then by Halloween night, or sorry, Halloween afternoon, we'll have the snow coming into Milwaukee areas, into Madison, Wisconsin, Des Moines, Iowa City, um, Jefferson City, Wichita, um, and all these areas will be seeing a snowy Halloween. And this snow could be arriving to the the Midwest a lot sooner now. I, looked, I thought 
Uh, yesterday, the new update showed it coming November 1st, but now it could be coming a day earlier, which is very, very important. So, again, it could be affecting Green Bay, the capital uh, in Madison, uh, even Milwaukee. So, Jesse Filbert and all those people out there. MGC Combo will be seeing a snowy Halloween out there just outside Chicago. St. Louis can be seeing a mix coming in by the night. Jefferson City seeing the light snow. Iowa City still seeing that snow. And then by November 1st, it actually could bring in the very snowy conditions for Muskegon. Light snow for Milwaukee. Rainy for Madison. Again, it brings some snow enough for Chicago, Indianapolis, Fort Wayne. Uh, near Bern, Indiana. We could actually have some Appalachian snow with this. Virginia and North Carolina can be seeing their first snowfall, and that won't be too bad, uh, really. Uh, okay, so yeah, it's actually good enough, 60 hours. So again, here we is, here it is, the next six hours. Here we are into October 30th. Um, oh, oh my gosh, I did not mean to do that. Okay, let me fix this. So here we are on October 30th. Again, we have that snow for near Cheyenne, Colorado, Denver. Again, these areas near Logan, Utah. Again, these same cities will be seeing snow. And then we have a little snow, little area. The GFS has been showing this for the past couple of updates, and European has not really big. And that will be near Kansas City with the first wave. And then near um, the uh, Wichita area could be getting a bit of a mix. And the huge throw with the GFS, the GFS does show a huge amount of mix. C compared to actually what the European is showing, European isn't showing that much mix, uh, like ice and uh, sleep. But it's um, now the GFS is really showing that, so that's gonna be very dangerous. So very good chance of maybe having power outages, which is not good on a huge, huge holiday. A lot of that snow coming, in, starting to pick up at Omaha, Lincoln, Nebraska. It will start to leave as the next 24 hours. It will start to leave Denver by the next 20, or start to leave Colorado by the next 24 hours. The GFS is not showing any snow really for Lubbock or Armour at all. So really big changes with these new models. Again, on October 30th, we can have the snow getting to uh, near areas into western Iowa and then near the Chicago area uh, or just a couple miles northwest of the Chicago area. How much We're going to have a lot of snow for central Kansas. Again, areas in the southeastern Nebraska. And by October or by Halloween morning, we could be seeing snowy conditions for northern Oklahoma, areas in eastern central Kansas, much of areas near Jefferson City, um, near Lincoln, Nebraska, and getting to Des Moines again and by the same thing. The location is finally being precise by now. Kansas City, St. Louis will continue to see a lot more rain by this time. Again, it can get maybe into Joplin, maybe even areas in northern Arkansas could be seeing flurries. I can't believe Arkansas can be getting a snowy Halloween. It's kind of weird if you really think about Arkansas really getting a snowy Halloween. It's not really the you think you hear the most. Again, Mass, Wisconsin, Milwaukee will see mostly flurries, not um, super duper heavy snowfall like these uh, usually do. And then by the next, I'm trying to get this in the work, by the next 42 hours, it could be bringing in still heavy snow near Aurora, Illinois now into Springfield and to St. or into the areas in St. Louis. And then by Later that night, it will bring in blizzard conditions possible for the border of Iowa and Illinois. And then that could bring it in. Again, Appalachian snowfall, maybe for Pittsburgh and areas into Charleston, West Virginia, could be getting some snowy conditions. Then we can have that snow coming in, maybe for New York, upstate New York. So snowfall isn't incredibly different. Again, we are, we're going to be seeing these snowfall totals uh, decrease every time. The only thing we'll be seeing increases right here if they change again. We'll see additional four inches for Denver and then around two inches left for uh, Colorado Springs. Again, with the uh, now the European did show a lot of snow for Texas based on the blue color, but I, honestly, not even a, a single area in northern tip right there is getting more than two inches. So the uh, snowfall totals for the Texas and Oklahoma area have definitely died down. Kansas City looking like they could be seeing in there two to three inch or a dish or two to three inches with this system. We could be seeing areas near Chicago getting a good amount of snow near six inches possible. And then areas into north central Illinois could be seeing up to 10 inches. We'll be seeing those very dark blue colors. Uh, Madison, Wisconsin can be seeing up to two to three inches. And Milwaukee can be seeing up to three to four inches, maybe even six inches in the southern part. And then we could have a good amount of snow from Muskegon and Lansing, uh, Michigan, with up to seven to eight inches of snow. So we're definitely going to have a lot of snow with the European. And this is the first time I've seen the snowfall totals for the GFS. So this is November 1st, so it is actually perfect for this. But again, not a single snowfall, not a single inch uh, for Texas or Oklahoma. Again, the European is, or GFS is doing another three to four inches for 
uh, for Denver, it looks like we could see up to maybe four to five inches with Colorado Springs. Again, Kansas City is still showing a lot more snow with the GFS, up to possibly five to six inches possible, maybe at most seven inches. And then for areas near Jefferson City, could be getting to see it two to three inches. And then definitely Missouri will be getting a lot of snow with this type with this system. Really, it's going to be very very heavy snow at some time. So it's going to be quite crazy. So. It's going to be just a lot of snow. We usually see GFS is showing a lot less snow for Chicago and Milwaukee, seeing less than two inches. Mass and Wisconsin will be seeing a good five to six inches regardless. And then we'll definitely see the heaviest snow right here into the border of the basically near the Mississippi River. We'll definitely have a lot of snow for these areas near Aurora, Illinois. We'll possibly see maybe the bullseye up to maybe seven to nine inches of snow. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and bye guys.